In this video, I wanted to once again focus on protecting your digital sales from all of the scary things online. And today we're talking business and specifically taking a look at one password for business. So if you are like me and juggling that world that includes like family and work life, then carry on watching as we review 1Password Business. Hi, my name is Pete. I post videos here every Sunday and Thursday for tech reviews, finance, and, and more recently, focusing on staying safe online. From anything from making sure that nobody else can get to your, your email accounts, your bank accounts, maybe your crypto wallet, I kid. Crypto wallets are all like worthless now after Elon <laughs> tanked the market by tweeting that Tesla weren't accepting Bitcoin anymore. Oh, doge. But before we can take a look at 1Password for Business, about how it can be a lifesaver when it comes to securing your digital world and the world of your business and colleagues, First of all, there's something really, really important that I'd like to ask of you. It would mean the world to me if you just clicked on that like button down below this video, right down there somewhere. It does really, really have an impact on how many people see these videos. And ultimately, the more people who subscribe, like, and share this video, well, then you are helping others stay safe online too. Also because I really want to become like a full-time YouTuber, but um, but no, definitely the, definitely the safety thing. Now, regular viewers will already know why I prefer 1Password as my pick for the best password manager. If not, then you can go and watch my epic 30 minute review where I review all of the other big players out there. And in this video, we're gonna to touch on pricing, features, security, and support when it comes to the 1Password business offering. And be make sure to stick around until the end because I'll also tell you about an incredible discount that 1Password have offered for those wanting to sign up. And this isn't a sponsored video and I am talking to them, but it's not sponsored. And I'm really, really kind of really hoping that any month now, 1Password will sign up as a channel sponsor or, or something like that because, well, I really do love their product and I think everyone should be using password managers. So, uh, so yeah, 1Password when you're, uh, when you're ready. First up, let's take a look at pricing. Now, 1Password Business is $7.99 per user per month, and that's billed on an annual basis and includes like all of the features. And I don't just mean business features, because when it comes to features, you get everything that you get on a personal plan, like access on basically every device and app and platform, including Linux, which they recently announced, unlimited items, two-factor authentication, simple things like being able to display a password in large letters with the number underneath for all those like please enter character 12 from your passwords, like type things, offline access, where you can actually edit passwords offline, which is like a really rare thing that I've come across and most other password managers don't do this. But you also get VIP support, which is interesting given that I personally found their existing support to be really, really great. Five gig of secure storage per person. So if you wanna file away maybe your driving licenses or insurance documents, passports, anything like that. You also get 20 guest accounts, which you can then use to share passwords externally. And you also get access to their advanced protection, which is really, really fantastic. Kind of an essential feature for any business password manager where you can create policies around like the strength of passwords generated, enforcing 2FA and, and even adding firewall rules so that you can't log in from say the outside world of your corporate network or from maybe even from specific countries. I mean, that is, that is really handy to have to secure your passwords. If you never leave the country, then just create a blanket policy to block anything outside of that country. I mean, that's just great. <laughs> You also, and this is something I love about their business account, get a free 1Password families account for all team members. That's a free account for up to five people for every one of your staff. I mean, that is, that's really good. And go and watch this video, which is all about 1Password families, just to see what you get with that. The activity log in 1Password business also lets you see who has accessed and made any changes to items in each of the vaults. And you can also generate reports to show who has accessed what, which is, well, great for if someone leaves the company and you can identify like what passwords might then need changing. You can create groups, which is a very, very understated feature, but something that you learn at a very early stage of like being in the IT industry is to always control things by group membership not individuals because well over time granting permission to individuals just gets like, messy and clunky and just unmanageable whereas once you define the groups and what permissions those groups need then you simply add and remove those people from the groups without running the risk of accidentally like giving one person access to things like more than they should have access to and then lastly and this kind of goes into security slightly but you can integrate this with active directory Octar and one login and they also have a really really good slack integration which all in all just makes creating and managing users for your business just well, so much easier now with all of those features said you also get all of the other standard features that one password comes with and and i made a video about the personal subscription right here so you can go and watch that one if you want but briefly watchtower monitors for any password leaks or breaches and alerts you if you need to change anything and you can also store other personal information things like like credit cards or notes or just various online identities to make it easier when filling out forms over in the security department this is something where one password is really really strong firstly it is one of the only password managers that i've come across that has zero trackers in it compare that with LastPass that has seven embedded trackers in the android version of their app 
And that includes one specific thing for grabbing marketing data so they can market to you better. Absolutely not something you want embedded into an app that holds your personal information. I mean, wow. You can also enable and enforce two-factor authentication for 1Password Business as a policy, and either use my recommendation of Authy to generate the code which then prompts you for. But if you really want to beef up the security, then you can use and enforce the use of one of these, which is called a YubiKey. And 1Password supports this as a form of second-factor authentication, as well as Duo, which is another third-party enterprise offering. And these YubiKeys work much like a physical key to your front door, except in this case, it's a physical key to your most important things, like 1Password being the main one, but you can also use it for things like your Gmail or Outlook and just so many other online services where you'd rather not have well, anyone else get into them. They also make them in various formats, so one kind of micro one that you can just plug in and leave into your laptop or desktop, and some even with NFC chips in. And also one with Lightning for iPhones, which are yet to kind of catch on to this trend called USB-C. And then lastly, we come to support. And I have to say that in all my years of working with 1Password, or not working with, but using 1Password, support has been great, like genuinely really, really great. Now, this isn't sponsored. I don't get like special treatment, even though I am trying to hound them to sign up as a channel sponsor or something. 1Password again, please. But every time I need to contact them about something, which truthfully speaking is really a handful of times over the years, they've come back really quickly, like half an hour type quick, like really, really good. And it's been consistent over the years that I've used them. So if you do need a hand with getting the more like enterprise integration option set up, then they will be there and the support will be there to hold your hand through the entire process with real people who really understand the product too. So with that said, and there will be a discount code of some form, I hope, or a voucher or promotion or something, because after shooting this video, I'm gonna go and ask them for one. So do head down to the link underneath this video for an incredible deal, I hope, of some form for 1Password Business. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I really do hope that you found it useful and informative. Please don't forget to like this video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. And maybe just go and watch another video after this one, please, since it really, really does help me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.